Welcome to the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette. We're in the Shook Gallery in a new exhibition titled Inside Outside by my good friend, artist Dan Anarino. Dan spent his 30-year career as a graphic designer in the area, and his previous paintings sort of reflected that influence on his work. But his work today in this show is astoundingly different. It has more of an impressionist feel with uh, looser brush strokes, more color, and kind of a really interesting look into nature the way he sees it, not the way we see things around us. Dan's influenced by his hikes through the countryside, uh, through the forests of, of Indiana, particularly the niches, uh, properties, and he takes time to notice the differences that we probably don't normally see. Dan earned his Bachelor of Fine Arts at the Kansas City Art Institute and his Master of Arts at Purdue University. All the time, he's been a painter with a studio in downtown Lafayette. Please come in and see this show for yourself. The Art Museum is now open four days a week and you can make online reservations through our website, where you can also find interesting looks into all the exhibitions that are going on virtually through videos and Facebook live presentations that have been created just for you to view at home. There are three other exhibitions in the galleries at the Art Museum currently. Seeing the Light Photography by artist Ed Lauch, Across the River, works from the permanent collection by the Purdue Art Faculty, and It Goes Without Saying, Ceramic Works by Joe Rorman. We're really thankful for the support from our community partners, the Art League, First Source Bank, Keystone Architecture, and the Second Century Club. I hope you'll come and visit us soon. Well, the title of the show is Inside Outside, and the reason being is uh, my, most of these paintings are, you're either in the interior of the woods, you're very close to the trail, or you're on the exterior of an environment looking out across a meadow and the tree lines off into the distance. So it's kind of that play that landscape has. You can either go with the big vista or you can be down right off the trail down into the, you know, what's going on right there in a square foot. Um, anyway, and I always think it's kind of uh, funny that uh, most of us landscape painters, a lot of us, uh, we m might do plein air painting, meaning painting on site, uh, and take photographs, maybe do sketches and so forth, studies on site. And then you bring that back to the studio and use those for your reference to create your landscape painting. So it's kind of interesting, you're on the outside uh, checking it out and then you bring it inside and, and do the work. And as far as for me too, uh, uh, growing up, uh, I always wanted to be outside. I always wanted to be playing outside and I especially love to play in the woods and the marshes and ride my bike through the country with my buddies. and. Uh, uh, all that kind of thing. So it was really difficult keeping me inside. And uh, so th the outside environment is, is very important to me and it continues to be as, as I became an adult and doing activities out, outdoors and so forth. But I just love hiking in the woods and uh, stumbling around the creeks and so forth, especially around central Indiana. When I was growing up, I was always into painting and doing artwork because I was an only child, so it kept me entertained. My mother, she did uh, uh, poster designs with uh, hand lettering, and so that kind of got me going. And uh, so I've been involved with it. And I, I was into painting in uh, undergrad school and, uh, and drawing and so forth. But anyway, uh, this particular series, uh, like I say, uh, many of the pieces, I was really getting deeper and deeper into the natural environment. Like I say, it's kind of like what you see when you're walking down a trail and when you look off the trail, what you, uh, what you see, it's just this chaos of plants and insects and uh, flowers and leaves and vines and, and just all kinds of things. And it's a whole world inside of these woods. So uh, I was trying to capture some of that. Uh, usually on my paintings, I start with an acrylic uh, underpainting, whether it's just an abstract pattern or full color, like maybe I'll color it all red, which shows through the painting. Then I start oils on top of it. I, I tend to use uh, uh, Winsor Newton oils and liquid as a median 
and it helps it dry faster. And so you just keep building up layers and layers and kind of trying to figure out when to quit and what more is needed and so forth. So they got pretty complicated, some of them, and I had fun doing them. Uh, uh, they're a little different than some of my earlier works, which are a little bit more graphic and uh, simpler. I tend to use uh, uh, brush and palette knife a lot. And uh, I like the square format. I've always enjoyed a square format. It's, it creates some different things than your horizontal or vertical uh, format. So, uh, and it's kind of a challenge compositionally to work with a square format. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is I appreciate that the museum gave me the opportunity to exhibit here as they do. And uh, I would like to really thank uh, everybody on the staff that puts in a lot of time and work to put these shows together, to hang them, to market them, and so forth. So I just really want to give a shout out to the museum. And uh, also, if you don't really visit the museum very much, uh, make sure you come down here and check it out. It's, it's really a beautiful place. They have a lot of activities, a lot of good shows, educational uh, classes, and so forth. So check it out. Good, good place to be.